David. Nine points in the first, I think 32 minutes, 16 in the last 7.39. How do you describe what got into you at the end of that game? Um, That's what he does. I just wanted to win the game, for real. That was all. Regular. We've seen it from him before. <laughs> you know, it's nothing different. He did it last time we played them, 15 and 5. So that's what he does. Hey, JQ, last game you said you want to get this feeling out of your, your chest and stop watching film. What type of feeling is going on? I know it's only one game, but how can this be the start of something for the rest of the season? Um, I mean, you know, the start, this was, this was a big, big win for us coming off four game losing skit. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the guys and the fight that we showed. I mean, being down, what was it, 13 with six, 14, 14. with six minutes left, and to come back and be able to win that game, I mean, it just goes to show you that, you know, th these guys care, we care, and, um, you know, big shout out to Coach because he made some, some big adjustments and he drew up some really good plays in that game. I think, you know, I said it um, when, I was, when I was interviewed after the Rice game, I think this, that was the turning point, I really do. JQ, um, what was it like to see that ball go through the net after, you know, not hitting the shot? I mean, obviously one of the biggest game, one of the biggest shots of the game besides Davis game winner, but what was that moment like for you to kind of just like drop your shoulders a little bit and see it fall through? Yeah, no, that felt really good. I think it's one of the only only games since I've been in school that um I couldn't put the ball in the basket today. Um but I never let my confidence waver. I mean I said it after the rice game. This little slump I'm going through is nothing I haven't been through before, so I, I just trust my work. That's all. Javon, I know this is different, but last time y'all had a slump, I think it was the Ole Miss Villanova losses. Y'all came out Texas A&M and handled business, and you said that I think y'all had a series of player-led meetings. Was something – what happened this time behind the scenes that allowed y'all to go from what we saw past three games to now, kind of being together and being cohesive? Um – we didn't have any player meetings, but you could tell the communication and the focus was different in practice and in our film session. You could just tell, you could feel the tension in the air kind of um, with the losing streak that we were on. Guys were like like super locked in. And I think it showed because we were able to, to guard the ball a lot better than we have um, in these last couple games today. And, you know, that's what I'm most proud about, how we played on the defensive end. And Javon, specifically in the second half, what was it that changed that made you guys start playing with, you know, more intensity, playing, playing defense? Um, and, and what something said, or was it, was it who was on the floor? What 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 was different? I think we knew. I mean, we know it's at stake. Um, you know, this is a team that that could make a run in the NCAA tournament, and um, you know, losing this game, we would it would have put us in a hole, in a real hole. Um, even though we're still in the hole right now, but it would have put us deeper in the hole. And I think guys know, knew what was at stake. And you could tell, I could tell by looking at my teammates in those huddles that nobody gave up. Even down 14 with five minutes, you know, nobody gave up. Hey, David. Uh, when times get tough, there's a lot of noise on the outside, right, that gets kind of loud. Do you guys, did you guys hear that over the last couple of weeks? Have you guys been hearing the noise? What noise? That's my answer. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. No noise. <laughs> um, is that part of the reason why you're able to get through tough times? Is that you do block all that out? You are able to block all that out. Yeah. Uh, Penny mentioned that you guys are playing small ball now, and you mentioned an adjustments. How do you feel about that now? Um, I, I mean, I just feel like, you know, everybody was ready to go today. Um, Nick Jordan came out the starting lineup. He was ready to go. He had two back-to-back -back layups late in the game. It was big time for us. Um, I think no matter who on the floor, um, you know, it's just 
we got to buckle down and, and and exhaust ourselves, especially on the defensive end. And I feel like, you know, regardless of if there's a small ball lineup or if uh, I think we had a lineup with Malcolm and JB in today, um, you know, just being able to go out there and exhaust yourself on the defensive end, um, that's that's big time. So I, I, don't, I don't think it really matters, um, you know, what lineup is out there. As long as you're out there playing hard and uh, showing some, some toughness, um, it'll be a good lineup. Hills has went down. Do you two feel like you have to be the leaders now, this team? Um, definitely some more pressure to, to start talking more because he was one of our vocal guys. And actually, he's doing a great job of um, still being a guy to speak up in our meetings and, and express, his, express himself. Um, you know, he played at a high level um, before coming to Memphis. So he knows what um, I feel like a winning program is supposed to look like. So he's, he's still very vocal with us. And, you know, me, I just feel like after the four-game skid, i got to step up even more. And Dave is doing everything that he can as well. Um, so, yeah, I would say, yeah, to answer your question. Javon, you just mentioned how deep of a hole you guys would have been in had you lost this game. Um, is it safe to say that you guys saved your season today with, uh, with this? You could say that. Uh, guys, you, uh, Javon, you emphasized rebounding in the last game uh, when he – not rebounding, but defense the last game as a reason why the offense was kind of shaky. This game you guys picked it up in the second half and was able to do well on defense and rebound. Talk about how well that uh, flows for you guys mentally, especially in a game where you're not really getting many free throws and the shots just aren't falling. Well, yeah, when you guard um – it's easier to rebound because you're in position. And I feel like, especially our last eight minutes out there, you know, we were able to guard really well and it put us in great position to rebound. I think that was, um, that might have been, you know, a difference today. Uh, for both of y'all, I know y'all have only been here, you know, a few months now, but what have you learned about kind of what Tigers basketball means to this city, city of Memphis? and? In a weird way, like this losing streak y'all had, do you think you even kind of gained more insight about kind of how much the city cares? During well, I knew I knew how much the city cared when I came here and played when I was at Alabama. I mean, it was electric in here, um, and I think that team had went on a on a bad losing streak as well before they came in and beat us. And you could just tell the the crowd. I mean, the fans that are still with us. I mean, you could tell that this this is a basketball city. And that's something that I personally miss going to Alabama. You know, that's really football um, is number one and basketball's on the rise. But um, you could tell, like, this is a basketball city. So yeah, I think the guys know that too. So we fighting, we fighting to keep this thing alive for sure. Petty, Petty's mentioned that huddles a lot of times can be chaotic. I think he used the term squaring things up a couple weeks ago after the USF game, but he said, today that there were a couple like real bonding moments in those huddles where you guys came together. Can you walk us through that? I mean, you could just look, you could look in somebody's eye when things aren't going well and see where their head's at. And today, I, I mean, I looked at all my teammates and I could tell nobody had given up. And that was a clear sign, clear indicator that we, I felt like we was going to win this game regardless. And um, I feel like that, that shows some growth.